Hello everyone, Pretty good to hear, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening with Mr. Owl. Hoot, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and you will leave this island. Now, you must hasten to the Yana Desert. The dark mo monstrous inhabitants of the San will show you the way. Hoot hoot. Well, hoot hoot to you too, buddy. Anyway, as I said before, we now have some optional stuff we have to take care of. So let's go ahead and head to that optional stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, I say optional, but well, a good chunk of it is mandatory. First off, actually, first off, while I'm in the area and thinking of it, we're gonna get one more. We're gonna get one more secret seashell because we'll be close enough to. We'll be close enough to the se to the secret house in a little bit that we're gonna, well, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll be close enough to the secret house or the seashell house, whatever it's called, that we'll be able to get ourselves a second, a second freebie seashell. But we need we need a tenth secret seashell in order to get that. Gee, I wonder where I need to dig. <laughs> and there we go. That's. What we, that's all we need to do. We have to get 10. Don't get any more after this point, even though there are definitely 10 available to you. Or there definitely are at least 2 or 3 more available to you. Just stick to the 1 for now. If you can help it. We may we may backtrack later on. Anyway, returning to the village. Oh yeah. These creatures that are popping on the ground, they're literally zombies. I think the, I think the instruction manual actually ha does refer to them as zombies as well. So they will never stop spawning. Now, I, I want to keep going in caves, because I know I've discovered quite a few caves that have secrets within them. I'm trying to make mental note of the ones that I can't do anything with yet, but there are at least two or three caves I tried going to that I can finally do something with. Anyway, remember how I said to remember this hut? Remember how, I, remember how I'm now saying go inside of it? This is the dream, this is the dream shack, or the dream hut. My god, there are levels of inception within this game. You'll find out what I mean later on! Anyway, it's a it's a mini dungeon of sort for another required item. Uh, be ready to use your Pegasus boots, because that's all that really kills these guys, and that will also get you over these pits, uh, these, brick, these uh, breakaway floors, so you don't die. There we go. And there we go. Oh my god, am I about to get both? It is legendary! It is only spoken of in myths and riddles. Acorn power shot combo. But um I don't think I don't think they actually stack. I don't know, I can't I wouldn't really be able to prove it right now because I'm gonna lose it as soon as I walk out and I'm not gonna run over everything. But we came in here for this. You got the Ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. Or three. Yeah, three's a good number. Anyway, leave the dream shack. You're done dreaming. Daydreaming. Yeah, but that was literally all I was for, is to go into your mind's eye to find an ocarina. First, I'm going to show you this here, because it's actually kind of funny. If you have no songs for the ocarina and you start playing it... <laughs> but you don't, it's not Karina, but you don't know how to play it. Basically, it's making fun of the fact that Link loses his memory and he can't play things unless somebody teaches him. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me? So how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes, it does, my lady. You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. 
Please remember the song, you should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. You don't need to play it every once in a while, but she says like that. Anyway, we're now going to leave here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. Thinking hurts. We're basically, I think in this episode we're going to take care of all the optional stuff first. And then I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do something for this project I wanted to do. That's kind of just a little, nice little touch that I wanted to do, just because I could. Anyway, in this cave there are two rewards. <sighs> Dang, bubble. I think it's a bubble anyway. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're bubbles or they're called something different in this game. Anyway, we're here for two things. Push. We're here for rupees, but along the left, along the right wall, somewhere. Yep, there it is. There is but a bombable wall that you can place a bomb upon and reveal something very, very needed. You've got a piece of hoss. We haven't seen one of these for a while. Because it seems like the piece of part. It seems like they put them out of your reach until you get a. It seems like you put it just out of your reach until you get an item from the dungeon we just finished in the last episode. I was in the middle of tackling a game. You don't have to tell me how to do it. No, <laughs> no, That was that was in poor taste. I apologize. Let's see, can we do anything in this one? No, it's just a fairy song. Oh, hey, Terran, you seem to be here. Well, this is part of our trading quest, folks. Oh, Link, I see I have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? I have the nicest of sticks. You are quite possibly the stupidest person on this island. Well, I... Oh. Check that out. Me want honeycomb! <laughs> honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Anyway, we now get a giant piece of honeycomb. Now we're gonna go to the secret shell hut. Because like I said, there are many things we can accomplish while there now. Because we already got one. Mm, excuse me. Man, I was just full of hiccups and bodily gases today. Now that we have now, oh, weird little glitch there. Now that we have ten secret seashells, we can come in here and receive a freebie eleventh. But that is the last freebie secret seashell you will get in this game. Now, every one after this, you must find on your own accord. So no more give me, no more hand me outs, freebies, or whatever you want to say. Anyway, we want to go back to the north. Actually, we want to go back to a place we were already. Excuse me. Also, for whatever reason, da the dash attack with your with uh, Pegasus boots and your sword out stronger than stronger than slashing at people. Even even though in Link's Awakening or not Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, it was actually dashing into enemies is actually weaker. Wait, where's the? Oh my god, I'm, I got lost. Well, I have to go north anyway, don't I? Oh, I'll figure it out, don't worry. Give me a second, I'll, I'll kick my brain to overdrive. Oh, right, I have to go down one more screen. I apologize. Well, we're off to a new fantastic place. That involves this. Uh, be careful. Oh, oh can we not, please? Anyway, we're off to a fantastic new place, full of friends, fun, friends, furniture, hot potatoes. Anyway, we're here in the Animal Village. Oh, sigh, such a nice day. We need song from Marin. Anyway, there are friends and there are friends and foes alike here. They are merely just. They're merely here. Because, well, flavor text and whatnot. 
Oh, right. This is, uh... <laughs> that's changed. <laughs> I had to stop for a minute, so like, I was, I was going to be like, oh, how am I doing to phrase this? You're part of a trade quest later on. And you're something later on still that we can get for collectibles. Anyway. First order of business while we're here in the Animal Village. Remember a couple episodes ago how I fell into a random hole that looked like this? Well, follow my example once again. Kill yourself. Or get warped. These strange holes are basically warps to five different locations of, on the map that allow you to... That are basically the only form of fat. Well, that and one other thing that we'll find after the next dungeon that are the only forms of fast travel in the game. Anyway, the honeycomb we got. Mr. Bear! Hi ho, hey you, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? We'll just run out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? I will, and we will definitely. And you definitely want to do this now because where we're going to be take, taking the next steps of our quest, we're going to get flung basically to a place where we require the said pineapple. Once he's asleep, he won't budge. Sorry, I, I, ta I talked over. It's basically, he's talking about a walrus we're going to go talk to in a second. He won't budge for a long time, but hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her song. Let's lob, let's lob should wake up with a jump if he heard her sing. For sure. <laughs> I like you, Bear. You're all for chaos. You are my best friend. Eh, don't go right, go down. Anyway, I will show you said walrus here. Give me a minute to get over there. Slashy, slashy. This is the walrus he was referring to. Someone's having a fun time in their dreams. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> Alright. Obvious, uh... Obvious sexual innuendo aside. Bomb a wall. And I don't know if I can do this as of yet. Especially seeing as I just used up my last bomb. We'll find out shortly if I can even do what's in here. Um, no. We couldn't do it in the first place. Okay, never mind. We're going to come back to this place much later. So much more later, we, you don't even understand. Alright, I've got Pegasus boots. Why aren't I running everywhere? Anyway, so we were tasked to go find Marin at this point. And we will do so. But first I want to do something that's going to kind of give this game a little bit of, spi of its own little personal spice, so to say. We're actually going to go up to a new-ish area of the map. And it'll take me a little while to get up there, but I'll try and go. I'll try and expedite as fast as I can. Let's see. Well, actually, there's gonna be two things we can. There's gonna be two things we're gonna do before we end this off. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to the very top middle of the map, or the point of interest, or the end game point of interest of this game. Anyway, uh, to the right here, cemetery. We will be visiting the cemetery later on. For just keep it in mind for now, because I told you to. But we'll be visiting that place shortly. Can I go up from here? Yes, I can. Exactly where I wanted to be, just to the just to the east of the uh, the Bustle Grotto. Anyway, I kind of started going this way in a previous episode. But I shied away from it simply because, well, I didn't want to spoil certain things. But now that we're here... Hoot, the windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Who? What about the Who? Seriously, I know they're, I know they're a, good, a decent band, but what about the Who? Ha ha ha! Oh, jeez. Music jokes. Anyway, we're going to come up here. Basically, at the what I'm going to do is kind of give this Let's Play a little bit of its own flavor is every time we complete a dungeon that has a uh, siren, or instrument of the sirens, I'm going to play... Well, I should be able to just... Yep, I sh I'm going to play just a small snippet.
So every time you get an instrument, I will return to the top of this mountain to play the song another time. Just so you can hear the song. Because even though this is the absolute earliest we can play the song for the first time, I would love to hear actually hear the song with just two instruments or one instrument. But this is the absolute earliest we can play the song here. I'm gonna, basically, every time we get a new instrument, I will play the song here just so we can hear the new excerpts from it. Trust me. Once we get to the end, of, once we get to the end of the game, it will be um, it will be pretty awesome sounding. It's kind of like that build up for before the boom. Anyway, what we're doing in this corner of the world is we're going to get another teleport. And I'm really, and I'm here getting this teleport now. I could get it later, but I'm getting it now because I'm getting all the optional things out of the way right now. Basically, somewhere along this waterfall. We should, well, this waterfall, huh, keyhole, it says angler keyhole, which is the key we're after at this point, but what we want to do is fall into another hole and die. Another warp has been obtained. So now we have the ability to warp kind of anywhere and everywhere. But I'm also coming back here because there's something we're going to do before we get Marin like we've been instructed. Remember how a moment ago I, I looked at a sign that said cemetery? You know, I'm a retard. We're going for a longer episode today because I can't keep my thoughts straight. <laughs> but, basically, there is a cemetery over there. And in only in the Game Boy, in the deluxe version of this game, or the Game Boy Color version of this game, I should say, there is a secret that you can get as soon as you get the Pegasus Boots or a way to obtain get there now I remember this particular secret oh well oh my god this particular quote unquote secret they tried to sell it off and they tried to sell this particular secret off a lot in the um, oh, dash the bookshelf sorry I'm trying to think of too many things at once they tried to sell it off in like the back of kool-aid uh, packages or like you know thing you know when other companies were trying to do uh, tie-ins with Nintendo's products. It, they tried to stick the code I'm about to show you here in there like, Wow, look at this super secret code you can only find in our product. No, it was part of the game too. Do you want to read this book? Yes, please. New World of Color Under the Five Gravestones. So in order, we must push the gravestones. Down, left, up, right, up. And I'm going to make sure I write that down because knowing my memory, I will forget. So, down, left, up, right, up, one, two, three, four, five, and my phone is ringing, fantastic. We're going to ignore it for now because I'm working on something. Try it with all your might. Open a new path whoever it is, whoever is worthy to receive the power of color. I wonder what the world of color is. Anyway, we're going back to the cemetery. Ow. Sorry, I just knocked my elbow on... I knocked my elbow on my chair and it kind of hurt. I should remember to put my phone on silent whenever I'm recording. Probably a good idea. Anyway, back to the cemetery we go. Like I've been trying to go to this whole time and have been messing up, but need to. Sh but I have remembered to show you that properly. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that that code that I just wrote down that's in the game itself. A lot of products are trying to say like, "Hey, you found out the secret code because you bought our awesome product." No, no, no. Stop doing coming. Anyway, this is where it is. So, we must push down. Ignore the ghosts. Left. Up. Right. Up. I said up. To enter a brand new dungeon. And everyone, I will end off things here today. I do want to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Link's Awakening. 
I ask that you join me next time when we go to the Dungeon of Color and acquire an optional bit of gear. I shall see you then.